saat ini saya bersama dengan Mario Wisang, salah satu legenda pemain bola basket Indonesia yang saat ini sedang berada di Houston, Amerika Serikat. Uh, Mario, how are you doing? I'm great. How are you, sir? All right, uh, also great here. How have you been? I mean, um, how's uh, things going on so far with you? Uh, I've been good. I've been blessed. You know, I mean, I know it was a, it's still a tough year for a lot of people, but um, my, my my year, 2020, 2021, has been a blessing, and I'm, I'm grateful, man. I'm grateful. <laughs> Oh, nice, nice to hear that. And uh, before we begin our segment, it's just a light uh, segment asking you seven questions. Um, maybe yeah, yeah. Uh, the viewers can find out, you know, the other side of Mario, the light side of Mario Wisan. Uh, but but be, but uh, before before we begin, um, I, I see you uh, done a lot of traveling, uh, becoming a like, yeah. what, what we call a nature traveler. Um, maybe you can share a little bit, you know, why. It's important for people to do a nature travel, especially you know doing uh, you know uh, like what you see you know hiking and camping and stuff and doing in the open nature. Absolutely. So you know I've always loved being out, but I never had the time before when I was playing basketball. So it, of course, as a basketball player, that's a hundred percent of my energy is to basketball focus and basketball. So I didn't have time to do anything else. But ever since I retired, um, I just found that. For me to be out in nature, to go hiking and camping, it's a different kind of challenge. You know, I needed another challenge in my life, and uh, I got passionate about it. You know, I think, I think if ev- for everyone, if they if they get time or have a chance to be in nature, I, I think it's good for their soul. You know, it, it's yeah. I mean, it's it, you find peace in it. I do for sure. I find peace in um, just being in nature, and it's it's. I'm very passionate about it, and I like to uh, explore and travel as much as I can, but anything in nature, you know, it's a lot of beautiful places to see around the world. And, you know, here in America, so many beautiful places. And I hope I, and I started a page too. So I just to share with some of my followers. So yeah, I'm passionate about it. All right, Mario. Uh, are you ready for the yes, seven sir. questions? <laughs> yeah, I am. You know, go ahead. Anything. All right, Mario, first questions. What's the yes. last book that you read? I mean, what's your favorite book so far? Uh, let's see. Last book I read was The Alchemist. That was a long. That was probably about a year ago. Mm-hmm. Um, so, so it's The Alchemist. You guys can check that out. It's it's a it's a fictional tale, but it has a lot of uh, important lessons of life in that. So, but a book that I really want to read right now, if, if we're talking about books, a book I want to read right now is a book by Candace Owens called uh, Blackout. Mm-hmm. So you guys could t- uh, take a note of that. And yeah, I haven't read it yet, but I heard it's a good book and it's kind of related to some of the current events that's going on in, in America and it can translate to the world as well. But uh, Blackout by Candace Owens. Right. Check it out. All right. Second question. Mango mm-hmm. or durian? Oh, for me, that's an easy one. That's a uh, mango for me. So... <laughs> I have never liked durian since I, ever since I was a little kid. Now I have two older brothers; they they like it, uh, but me, I just I don't know. Uh, you know, it's funny. We win Chakorda. He told me before if it smells like poop, it probably tastes like poop. <laughs> so that's from the quote from We Win, and I agree with you. With I agree with you, man. <laughs> So it's mango for me all the way. Mango, I love mangoes. All right. Third question: What's the ideal buffet restaurant for you? Buffet. Wow. <clears throat> okay. Um, okay. Some of the best buffets I've ever been to is probably in Las Vegas. Ton of good buffets. So a good buffet has to have like ribs, briskets, all steaks. It has to have all the good meat. And, but it also has to have a lot of variety. So it has to have, when I say variety, I mean like food from different places around the world. So it has to have like American, Asian, uh, Mexican, you know, it has to have a different variety. That's the best buffet for me. It can't just be standard one menu, this American. No, it has to be a variety. So those are the best buffets for me. And oh, also, and a good dessert bar. That's also important. All right. <laughs> All right, uh, 
just just additional question here. Uh, since you're in Houston, Texas, right now, it's like a American heartland and also famous for a lot of a uh, barbecue joint there. Um, oh, yeah. Have you have you ever tried a uh, Texas barbecue? And and what 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 do you like the most about the Texas barbecue? Oh, I love Texas barbecue. I mean, the briskets. You know, you got it. Texas barbecue. You got to have briskets, some sausage, and good barbecue sauce. So there's a there's a good. The best barbecue place I went to here is, uh, it's not a chain. It's just a little mom and pop shop in Montgomery, Texas. It's called uh, Your, Yo Mama's Barbecue. So if you're ever in Montgomery, Texas, check out Yo Mama's Barbecue. It's really, really good. I got to meet the owner, good guy, and great, great barbecue. All right, fourth question. Golfing or fishing? Oh, wow. So. I've never been fishing officially, but I have golfed a little bit. I went to the driving range a couple of times. Now I have an older brother that's really good at both. But for me, I would say probably right now fishing. I, you know, when I when I get a chance and me and he, he's gonna take me out to go fishing, my older brother, I think I would rather go fishing. He's also a golfer, but I think I'd go fishing. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now it's a little bit uh Harder question. Okay, Mario, okay. <laughs> what should we do if we ever encounter a space alien? Ooh, okay. Little secret for me, okay? The people that know me the most, the people that are close to me that know me really well, they know I believe in aliens. That's number one. They know I believe that. So I'm a nerd when it comes to aliens. I've always watched and researched sightings, UFO sightings, everything like that. So. What should we do if we encounter aliens? In my opinion, when they come here, I don't think it's going to be friendly. That's number one. So you better be prepared for any kind of war because I don't think, and I don't know if we can win that war because their technology is far more advanced, but I think it's for sure it's not going to be a friendly encounter when we meet aliens. Yeah. Okay, so be prepared. <laughs> so, um, be- so you don't, you don't, you don't think it's a good idea for human beings right now trying to contact um, like extraterrestrial out there. You know what? I, I don't think it's a bad idea either. Like they can try, but I think aliens are here already. In my opinion, I, they they've already, you know, they they know a lot about us already. They you know they've come and gone, and some are still probably here. So if they want to just, you know, basically reveal themselves to us, and they can anytime, yeah. when they're ready, they would. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, question number six. Yeah. You like to become a fighter jet pilot or battleship commander? A fighter jet pilot. Why is that? Probably fighter. I mean, I am. Uh, it is terrifying. For me, it would probably be scary, but if I had to pick between the two, might as well pick something that's crazy, which is <laughs> fighter pilot. You know, like, I grew up watching like movies like Top Gun. Wow! That was a favorite of mine growing up. Do you remember that movie, Top Gun? Yes. Tom Cruise? Yeah. yeah. So, like, that, so I thought they were cool. You know, fighter jet pilots, wow, they're cool. So, I would definitely say fighter jet pilot. Yeah. <laughs> dog fight, dog fights in the air. Oh yeah, fighter jet. <laughs> All right, Mario. Last questions. Yes, sir. What are the three most important words to describe you? Oh wow! Now that's a, that's tricky. Three important words. Resilient. That's one. I'm just trying to think on top of my head here. Resilient. Loyal loyal and um, resilient, loyal, and grateful, grateful. I, I would I would say those things um, describe who I am and my life's path. Yeah, resilient, uh, loyal, and grateful. Yeah, try to practice those every, with everything I do. So, okay. Yeah. 
All right, Mario, thank you so much for your time. Those are the certain questions that uh, people would like to know the lighter side of Mario Wilson. So we're not talking yeah. so much about basketball, but we're trying to find you know the lighter side of things. And um, it, uh, first of all, uh, most important thing is um, we're really glad to see you healthy and also you know doing fine. And hopefully you you, you find success now, now in uh, Houston, Texas. I, I miss everyone there basketball world you guys um you know send my love to everyone you're always in my thoughts and prayers always in my heart forever and i will be back believe me i will be back some way somehow uh to help out and just do my part and, you know you guys are always in my heart in the nation forever so thank you all right mario thank you so much for the interview stay safe yes sir yes sir take care